The Grand Island Senior High Islanders batted down a pass by the Kearney Bearcats on fourth down with 33 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter to beat the Bearcats 20-12 at UNK's Foster Field. Islander head coach Jeff Tomlin said it took some time, but the offense started to move the ball. You know, we did, you know, break it in, break it in new guys. That's always against a very good team. That's always a challenge, and so it took us a while, but I, you know, I thought we made some, we made some big plays. Our big-time receivers made big-time plays. And, and I thought Trey played extremely well. You know, I thought he managed things well. I thought he made good reads. Um, I thought our offensive line came of age there at the, at the end when, when we were buried deep and we had to get first downs and we had to string them together. I think we probably ran six, seven minutes off the clock there at the end just with O-line pounding them. And I thought that was kind of a good come of age time for our O-line. Islander quarterback Trey Kissig threw an interception that ended in a Bearcat touchdown on the first drive of the second half. Tomlin credited Kissig for coming back from the interception, but said the Knights' biggest play came on the two-point conversion after the touchdown. Maybe the, the big play of the game was the pick by Keenan on two-point, because they get the two-point, then you could start feeling, you know, the momentum's really shifted. Now we kind of steal a little bit back, but yeah, bouncing back was huge on that. Thomas said the defensive line was a key to the Islander defense on Friday. Defensive line showed great stamina down the stretch, and they just kept coming. Um, they had some good hot uh, checks built into their game plan, which kind of took us out of some of our blitz. And so we kind of had to play at base, and we had to rely on our defensive line. They did a great job. They just kept coming after them. Senior Aiden Redwine helped the Islanders keep inching their way down the field in the fourth quarter. I'll tell you what, he's tough. You know, there's not, not a tougher guy you're going to find and, and uh, to come out and play like he did and, and uh, limited practice, you know, that he's had. I'm, you know, I'm very proud of him. And now, you know, he'll be a guy we, we rest up a lot during the week and ride during game time. But, you know, he did a super job. And, you know, I thought Chris Doty got in there and got some tough runs. George Oxford got some tough yards for us in the second half, which I was, you know, really pleased to see. And, you know, we, we made some timely throws and catches on the perimeter to move the sticks to. Tomlin said the kicking game is a big concern after missing a field goal and two extra points during Friday night's game. You no, know, big concern. You know, I'm concerned about, um, a little concerned about our punt game right now. We got to improve that. Got to improve, obviously, our PAT field goal game. There's a lot of holes, you know, like I told the kids at the end, Hats off for their great effort. I mean, the effort was incredible. I thought they showed great, great poise and great grit down the stretch. Uh, but there's still so many areas that we got to get better at. And so we'll feel good about it tonight. When film, when we look at film tomorrow, we'll learn from what we can get better, and then it's on to the next challenge. Reporting from Foster Field and Kearney, I'm Zach Mayhew.